Good morning, Grade Twos. It's Mrs. G again, and today is the 13th of July, 2020. And today we're going to be continuing with learning about animals, and today we're going to focus on birds. There are about 10,000 different species of birds, so that is a lot of birds. So let's see what we can learn today. All right, let's start with some fun facts about birds. Birds are warm-blooded animals. Most birds can fly, but some birds can't fly. Can you think of any birds that can't fly? Birds use breathe using their lungs. They have wings and beaks and feathers. They are vertebrates. Remember, that means they have a backbone. And their babies hatch from eggs. Did you know that the fastest bird is the peregrine falcon? This bird of prey can reach up to 400 kilometers per hour whilst free falling. Wow, it's so fast. Poor dove, if it were to cross its path. On the other hand, the American woodcock is the slowest bird on the planet, flying at a mere speed of eight kilometers per hour. Oh, check out his cute little babies. Did you know that the fastest land bird is the ostrich? This huge bird, actually the largest in the world, cannot fly, but it can reach up to 70 kilometers per hour. Running! It's faster than a moped. This tiny hummingbird also holds an impressive record. Besides being the smallest bird, it can also flap its wings 200 times per second, or in other words, 12,000 times in a minute. Incredible! They beat so fast that you can hardly even see them. It looks as if they are floating in the air whilst eating. And did you know that the penguin is the aquatic bird champion? Penguins can't fly, and on land they are rather clumsy, but they are incredible in water. Some species can reach the speed of 36 kilometers per hour. They swim four times faster than humans can. But the most impressive penguin is the emperor penguin. A person can dive to the depth of 260 meters, whereas this penguin species dives 535 meters deep and can hold its breath for 5 to 18 minutes. It's a bird. It has a beak and feathers, but it seems as if it wants to be a fish. Now we have learnt a few records and fascinating facts about birds. The truth is, it is beautiful observing them fly in the sky or swim in the sea. But, as we are always reminding you in happy learning, so as to continue enjoying them, we must look after our environment. Do not contaminate the air, the sky, the rivers and seas. We must take care of our nature and all that is around us, and like that, we will be able to live in a happier world. Okay, we're going to look at some examples of birds and you're going to decide whether you think those birds are good at flying or whether the birds are not so good at flying. So let's have a look. Our first bird is the eagle. Now, an interesting fact about the eagle is that eagles have 
excellent eyesight, and they build their nests on high cliffs or in tall trees. Now, do you think the eagle is good at flying, or do you think the eagle's not so good at flying? Then we've got the chickens. Now, remember, a male chicken is a rooster, and a female chicken is a hen. Do you think chickens are good flyers? The flamingo, the beautiful flamingo. Now, flamingos are actually not pink. They're actually born with gray feathers, and these feathers gradually turn pink in the wild because of a natural pink dye in the food that they eat. And they this dye then turns their feathers pink. So do you think flamingos are good flyers or not so good at flying? The owl. Owls are nocturnal, which means they are active at night. And a group of owls is called a parliament. Do you think owls are good flyers? The ostrich. Ostriches are the tallest and the heaviest of all birds. Do you think they can fly and are they good flyers? And lastly, the beautiful kingfisher. And kingfishers mainly eat fish and they catch these fish by diving into the water. Do you think they are good flyers or do you think they're not so good at flying? Right, grade twos, your task for today is to complete the page 35 in your red life skills book. If you turn to your if you turn to page 35 in your red life skills book, it says look at the different birds below, and you've got to circle the ones that are good at flying. So once you've circled the birds that you think are good at flying, then you can color in the pictures and make it look pretty and send a picture to your teacher. Don't forget to write the date at the top and have fun. Have a good day. Bye.